This is the official YouTube channel of Rio Bands TV. And let's go. Everybody to like, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all future Rio Bands TV content. Hey man, this is it. We taking off. Y'all lock in with me. We going up. We going up. This is the official YouTube channel of Rio Bands TV. And let's go. Everybody to like, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all future Rio Bands TV content. Hey man, this is it. We taking off. Y'all lock in with me. We going up. We going up. It's your boy Rio Bands, Rio Bands TV. Hey, um, I really wasn't gonna do this. I had a lot of people requesting that I talk about the Drake and Kendrick Lamar uh hip hop beef that's been going on. Um, before we get too far into it, let me get everybody to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share, hit that notification bell, and also check out the memberships. I believe we got about three or four different options for the membership packages. Uh, so today, you know, we're going to be talking about uh, Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Um, <clears throat> so pretty much, you know, there's just something oddly mesmerizing about the way that the world just latches on to every note of a hip hop beef. It's, it's almost like watching a high stakes chess match in which each move dissected, analyzed and debated by fans and critics alike. And uh, right now, the spotlight's burning bright on a supposed clash between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, who are two uh, two of the top hip hop artists right now of their generations and of their genres. And, um, you know, a lot of people have been keeping up with it. They've been dropping songs back back and forth. And I've been hearing some of the songs and seeing some of the things were said. Uh, but here, you know, my true opinion, uh, here's the thing. I couldn't care less, uh, not because I don't appreciate their artistry or their impact on the hip hop scene. Nah, it's just because I just I really refuse to get caught up in the manufactured feud that's designed to sell records and stir up drama. I refuse to be caught up in a feud that I know is designed to sell records and stir up drama. Hip hop. At its core, um, it's a platform for self-expression. So, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a platform for self-expression. It's, it's, it's really a voice for the voiceless. And it's really a mirror reflecting the struggles and the triumphs of everyday life. It's not about pitting artists against each other in some ego-fueled battle for supremacy. It's about authenticity, about staying true to your roots, your story, and your truth. Drake and Kendrick, uh, yeah, they're titans in the game. Their lyricism, their flows, their abilities to command the stage. I mean, it's undeniable. But when their names become synonymous with beef rather than creativity, something is lost in the translation. Like, what, what's going on? Uh, why do we insist on reducing these artists to just mere adversaries in some type of rap gladiator arena? Why can't we just celebrate their individuality, their innovation, their contributions to the culture without constantly comparing and contrasting? Because here's the real beef. The divide between unity and division, between uplifting each other and tearing each other down. And as a hip hop community, as fans, as fellow artists, I think it's time we put aside the petty rivalries and just focus on what truly matters. Elevating the culture, amplifying diverse voices, and fostering a sense of belonging for all who call hip-hop home. I mean, let's be honest. Drake, Kendrick, I mean, y'all do your thing, man. Drop your bars, make your moves, leave your mark on the world. But just know this, I'll be here. Not as a spectator in your so-called beef, but as my as a champion <clears throat> for unity, for authenticity, for the soul of hip hop. This is bigger than that. This is bigger than what they're pushing. 
Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't take your focus off what's truly going on. A lot of people aren't even putting this much energy and focus and concentration into their own goals and aspirations. But y'all so caught up following Drake and Kendrick Lamar. That's crazy. These guys are millionaires. Y'all not even thousandaires. But every time somebody drop, Drake drop, Kendrick drop, y'all eating it up. <clears throat> You're not even taking that type of time in your day-to-day -day life to actually find meaning and purpose in your life. But you're finding so much enjoyment out of a Drake and a Kendrick Lamar who are more than likely just sitting back. This is entertainment to these guys. Um, I definitely, you know, we're going to reflect back on it. That's just my opinion. Those are my opinions. I feel like that this is bigger than that i feel like hip-hop is bigger than this i feel like this is not good for the culture i feel like this is not good for these artists i feel like this is not good for anybody i feel like it is a lose-lose situation i feel like you're not gaining anything by tearing another person down trying to expose them you're not gaining anything especially when you're attacking them with lies false stories it's, it's, it's just not making sense. I mean, Drake has been in this game for years. I mean, at this point, I mean, it's it's got to be about 15 years now or more that Drake has been relevant and been dropping music. So, And Kendrick Lamar, he's been at the top of his game and the top of this era since I can remember. You know what I'm saying? They both have been great you know what i'm saying there's no need to beef there's no need for egos to get involved each person is each successful on their own drake been selling out shows been selling records been one of the top artists of all time is the top one of the top artists of all time and i don't even listen to him but i, I respect the fact that he is probably the most influential and popular artist of today and potentially all time he is a trendsetter kendrick lamar he as from what i know about him he doesn't drop often but when he drops i know that people they're on it they're waiting for him you know what i'm saying so for these two giants in this hip-hop game to be really at this type of battle and type of war where they're exchanging these type of words to each other over uh, beats for our enjoyment, it's cool, but it's deeper than that. We, ha we as people have to look deeper than that. This is a real battle we're facing. This is a real war out here. And I feel like, you know, everybody always says that the industry is evil and industry plants so now it's like they're planting us against each other now now they're using us as tools to destroy each other which they have been doing for years but now it's blatantly in our face so me personally i don't agree with the beef i don't agree with none of it but i mean who am i i'm just rio bands tv hey i'm getting up out of here y'all like comment subscribe don't forget that. Hit that notification bell, share, and I will see y'all on the next one. Thank you.